outside at our Galveston camp. <laughs> Lovely day at the beach. It is gorgeous. Splish splash. Also looks like a great day for some competition, don't you think, D. Brown? I agree. And Houston Life reporter Stephanie Gary is out at the annual Build a Bike event with more. Hey, Steph, what's up, girl? Hey guys, so you're right, a little friendly competition has been happening here today. Um, but you know what, it's all for the kids. We had over 23 teams building over 200 bikes and here with me now is Matt Morris, the CEO of Stewart. Now Matt, you've actually partnered with Child Advocates of Houston. Tell me a little bit about why and all of the volunteers that were out here to help today. Absolutely. Well, again, thank you for being out here. Uh, you know, Stewart has been around for 125 years, started in Galveston, and being a part of the community everywhere around the country and around the world, we do business is important to us. We've partnered with Child Advocates for the last uh, four years now, and we had a couple hundred associates out here building bikes today, and uh, it's great in light of Harvey and everything else. We know that the need is great, and uh, we're just great that we can do our part. That's so fantastic. And Matt, thank you so much for all you're doing for Houston. Um, what I'm going to do from here is I'm actually going to let you go because you've stuck around with me and I really appreciate it. I know you have a big meeting to get to. I'm going to have you guys come on over here with me, Matt. Thanks thank you here. so much. And Rick Burnett is also here working away on a bike, actually. Now, Rick, tell me a little bit. You're about you're with Child Advocates of Houston. Tell me a little bit about the program itself. The program is a nonprofit organization that's set up to help support children once they've been pulled from the homes by CPS. The courts then assign a court appointed advocate, which is a volunteer who basically is trained for 30 hours, and they become the eyes and ears and voice of that child as they go through the system. Okay, so these bikes that we're all building today that we've been slaving over for the last few hours are going to a great cause. Um, now, we've built over 200 as of now. Tell me a little bit about where those go and uh, how they get distributed. Okay, they're going to be in storage for right now, and then they're going to, we're going to transport all the bikes over to Santa's uh, wish list for the children uh, at the 1st of December. This is our staging place that so we basically have all the, the gifts for the child, and the bikes go over there, and then the court important advocates take them and give them to the children. So it's a big Christmas party, and basically these are going to kids that are four and up, and all the kids uh, actually, you know, just go home with something really neat. Is that right? That's correct. All right, so what you guys do need, because we are finished almost, just about done, you guys, um, building all these bikes. A lot of the volunteers have already gone back to work because um, we just have a few left. But um, what you guys do need beyond today are volunteers and donations. Tell me a little bit about how people can help. We definitely, as you said, we need volunteers. Last year we had over 800 volunteers, and we had cases that we had to turn to re turn away last year because we did not have enough volunteers. You can go online to childadvocates.org, and obviously we need donations as well as we needed. The kids need your support. All right, Rick, thank you so, so much. Now, you guys, um, I didn't want to make this all about the competition, but I'm just going to tell you my team, table number one. We actually beat out Casey Curry's team earlier today. Um, she was here as well, as well as a couple other members of media. So, you know what? We had a great time, and it's all for the kids. I'm going to toss it back to you guys because I think they need my help finishing up these last couple of bikes here. All right. Great job out there. It looks like a fun day and such a great cause, too. I agree. Thanks so much, Steph. So, for more information on how you can get involved or donate, to Tile Advocates.